It's, it's a universal style where we can remove the pins, we can change the length of the arms, we can change the pawls, which are the grab pawls that hook onto the bottom of the sleeve or the liner. And what we want to do, and I've gone ahead and I've set this up so that we have uh, a certain depth on this that has to reach through the entire length of the liner, hook onto the bottom of it, and then we need to pull it out. So I'm going to close the jaws, install it into the cylinder, making sure that I do not hit the piston cooling jet. In some engine designs you can pull the kit piston cooling jets out to prevent um, them from being damaged. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the pads on this so that I'm not going to fall in one of the holes and that I'm over the deck surface as much as possible. And I want to turn it so that I'm not going to run into the piston cooler. And now I'm just going to run this down until I hear the pause, click out, and sometimes you have to wiggle them around a little bit to actually get them to hook under the bottom of the cylinder. Okay, continuing on, once we know that we've got the jaws down into position and we set the feet on this puller, we can start bringing the tool up till it catches onto the cylinders or onto the cylinder, and then we use the appropriate tool to bring the liner up and you can see the liner comes up with very little effort comes up fairly easy and we just continue until the liner is free of the o-rings you can usually feel that we're just going to continue on until the liner comes completely free from the bore And it's moving freely, so now I'm just going to grab a hold of the entire tool underneath here and hold it because I'm going to use this tool to actually lift out the entire liner. Sometimes if you take the tool off, the liner may be stuck in its bore and it's harder to get out by grabbing this than using the whole tool. So I'm going to lift both out together as one.